starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. Despite what the weather is like outside today, it is the time of year when many people start doing more things outside, whether that's boating or golf or pickleball. In Eagle River, a lot of folks are into tennis, but they're looking for new courts. News Watch 12's Morgan Johnson explains. Let's go up. Sherry Stecker has been playing tennis for a long time. Well, I also play golf, but guess what? You get to hit the ball more often in tennis. Most of her years playing have been at the courts of the Greater Eagle River Tennis Association, or GERDA. Since we moved up here, so it's probably 40 years. But that was decades ago, and a lot has happened since then. Underneath, for example, this plasticized uh, squares here, there are... I call them Grand Canyons in this court and that court. It got so bad the association laid plastic material down to protect players from the cracks. Experts say in this area, tennis courts should last 15 years. These ones have been here for 50 years. Gerda's president, Sue Richmond, thinks it's important to invest in these courts. Tennis is a lifelong sport. Whenever you learn it, whatever age you are, you can play it until you're 90. And some of our members are 90. Um, it's great. It's fun. It's, it can be competitive. It can be social. Gerda is kicking off its major fundraiser to replace the courts, fencing, and LED lights costing $250,000. Richmond hopes the project will be done next summer. We're getting a lot of um, new people up here to play tennis and we would like to make this comfortable for them to come and play. Some of the newcomers to the sport are just old enough to walk. Stecker wants to give these players courts they can grow with. Yep, you got the idea. Let's practice that. Just like she did. Somebody provided for us 50 years ago some nice courts to play on. It's our turn to pay back to the community and have another set of nice courts, hopefully that last 50 years for the kids and the families. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson. Jeff, they're my type of players so who weren't bothered by the cool temperatures outside today. Not at all. And a soaking rainfall out there right now across parts of central Wisconsin as well. Here we are in Plover where it's raining currently. It's been raining pretty much all day long. Look at this radar, a very active one currently. And there's some potentially heavy rain in here currently. Uh, point last hour reporting moderate rainfall. Uh, this is having a hard time though getting north of Highway 29. Across the north woods, just some uh, light rain showers and even some drizzle at times. Most of this will stay across central Wisconsin tonight. The other story is going to be the temperatures. So right now we're hanging out at 40 in Merrill, 39 at this hour for Mosinee. The average highs in the low 70s. Nobody did that today, nor will we for a while. The problem tonight is once again frost. The skies will partially clear after midnight and we can have frost just like last night. And then tomorrow night's the big worry night as a hard freeze could be on the way. Before tonight, likely frost for Vilas County and County as well with a hard freeze back off to the west this evening. Tomorrow night, pretty much all of us will get a hard freeze north of Highway 8. Our forecast then for tonight though is rain showers out there and some drizzle with cold low temperatures down near 32. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. Right, thanks, Jeff. A Vilas County man was arrested yesterday on suspicion of possession of child pornography. The Wisconsin Department of Justice says 30-year-old Ryan Shelton was arrested following a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which led to a search of his home in Eagle River. He's now being held at the Vilas County Jail pending charges. The rolling seven-day average the number of new COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin is now back down below 300 for the first time since last summer. Today, the Department of Health Services reports 282 new cases that drops our daily average for the last week to 285. Now, DHS also recalculated this chart, their daily death chart, to only count new deaths as those that happened over the last 30 days, not old deaths that have just now been classified as COVID related. With that change, we're now averaging two deaths per day statewide over the last week. The only negative news here are 12 county north central Wisconsin region. The number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 has risen slightly over the last two weeks. Meanwhile, DHS reports about 47.4% of all people in the state have now received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. About 41.5% have now completed their COVID vaccination. Again, that's of all people in the state. About 14% of the state children under age 12 are not yet eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine.
Meanwhile, in Washington, President Biden and congressional lawmakers are pushing to solve the mystery of how exactly COVID-19 started. Mary Maloney has the latest. Despite getting closer to controlling COVID-19 in the U.S., the country is far from reaching a conclusion on the origin of the virus. We really need to understand what happened. It's important for preventing the next pandemic. Now, President Biden and Congress are taking action. On Wednesday, Biden directing the U.S. intelligence community to redouble its efforts to solve that puzzle. Biden says he wants the agencies to report back to him in 90 days. Right now, there are two possible scenarios. Did the virus pass from an infected animal to a human, or was it the result of a lab accident? Biden's push comes after a U.S. intelligence report found several researchers at a lab in Wuhan, China, became sick and had to be hospitalized in November 2019. And critically to understand when the Chinese government knew what they knew, because if in fact there was a cover up for some period of time, that was really critical time that the rest of the world could have used in order to prepare. For its part, China says the U.S. does not care about facts and truth at all and is merely shifting the blame. On Capitol Hill, the Senate passed a bill requiring U.S. intelligence agencies declassify information on the origins of COVID-19. But finding answers will be hard. We need to get to the bottom of this, and we need a completely transparent process from China. We need the WHO to assist in that matter. We don't feel like we have that now. It's Mary Maloney reporting. The Biden administration is also putting more pressure on pipeline companies to report cyber attacks. The Department of Homeland Security quickly in a reaction, of course, to the Colonial Pipeline hack just a couple weeks ago. 100 of the most critical pipelines in the country are impacted by this new requirement. Under the order, pipeline companies would have just 12 hours to report confirmed or potential cyber attacks. Right now, all the reporting of that kind is voluntary. Department officials say the new mandate also requires companies to designate a 24-7 cybersecurity coordinator to work with the government. Many folks across the North Woods in North Central Wisconsin lost power for a little while this week as that strong line of storms moved through. That's nothing like the brush with death one Wisconsin man experienced earlier this week. We'll show you what he went through in just a few minutes. But first, Jeff Sid with your full forecast. You're watching Newswatch 12, proud to serve Presque Isle and folks all across the North Woods of Wisconsin. Can't find what you want in a new summer ride? Settling for good enough just to have it now? Wait, don't settle. Herbs and Tomahawk and Power Pack in Marshfield have the solution. Custom order. Get exactly what you want by building your customized ride with us and we'll place a special order with the manufacturer. That means the color you want, the package you need, and the new ride you deserve. Plus, you'll get discounts on all parts and special financing on gear. Herbs and Tomahawk and Power Pack in Marshfield. Don't settle. Get your custom order in today. Enjoy a slice of the sweet life. Perkins Strawberry Fresh Tavola is back. Come in for fresh strawberry favorites starting at just $6.99. Like our fresh strawberry crepes platter. Fresh strawberry Belgian waffle platter. Fresh strawberry pancake platter and more. Then keep things sweet with pies and fresh baked favorites from Perkins Bakery. Whether you dine in, order online or get it to go. Order now at PerkinsToGo.com. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. But when the movements in my hands and feet started throwing me off at work, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Austedo. She said that Austedo helps reduce TD movements in adults while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Ostetto can cause depression, suicidal thoughts, or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Ostetto if you have liver problems, are taking Respirin, Tetrabenazine, or Valbenazine. Ostetto may cause a regular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Ostetto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforalstetto.com. The new LDF Country Market in Lac de Flambeau offers families the freshest meats, produce, bakery, and groceries. Take a closer look and you'll find a smoke shop, beer cave, deli, and liquor all under one roof. 
with convenient fueling stations just outside. Add Native American arts and crafts, and you'll enjoy a unique, spacious shopping experience found nowhere else. Shop the new LDF Country Market today. Get what you need so you can get back to what you enjoy. Well, here we are. It's National Safe Boating Week, and we are talking about snow flurries and a hard freeze out there tonight. Lots of rain across central Wisconsin today. Even moderate rain now falling in Wausau down to Stevens Point. Moving to the east, about 35 miles per hour. This could end as a couple light snow flurries across the area tonight. Radar says, okay, we've had lots of rainfall across the area today, mostly in a band heading right toward Portage County and Marathon County as well. This will wind down tonight, but some spots could report close to an inch of rainfall today into tomorrow morning. Future cast shows all this pushing off to the east of us tonight, but it's going to take its time. So the front's kind of lingering around here for the next couple hours or so, and we could see a couple of snow flurries overnight tonight across parts of central Wisconsin. All right, so here's the big picture. Low pressure across central Illinois right now, uh, pushing rain showers back our direction. The reason why the Northwoods is doing pretty good so far is that high pressure right there is sending some really dry air back into the Northwoods right now uh, that erodes the moisture and thus this precipitation can't go too far north and that's what's happening for us today. Uh, but looking to the west of us, this is our next system getting in here, most likely on Monday, which of course is also Memorial Day. So the other story now is the temperatures. Oh, the temperatures. Highs today pretty much in the 30s to 40s. That's 30 degrees below the average. We're going to work on it though. It's going to take a little time though, especially through tonight as we have temperatures out there right now at 39 at this hour in Anago, 43 Leona, 38 for Point. This is rain cool there in there as well. It feels like fall across parts of central Wisconsin right now. Uh, but the problem is the clouds are going to clear out of here later on tonight across northern Wisconsin, and that's going to allow temperatures to drop very quickly, thus giving us some frost again tonight, just like last night. And then tomorrow night, that's the big worry night as the coldest air is across the area tomorrow evening. That could give a hard freeze across really much of the area tomorrow night. But for tonight, here are the advisories, a frost advisory again, Oneida County, Vilas County, Langley County as well. To the west of us, though, included Price County, Ashland County, and Iron. Uh, this is a freeze warning, a hard freeze expected there. Your plants will not like this, so pull them inside or cover them up. Uh, they'll have a tough time tonight, but especially a tough time later on tomorrow night. So going forward, though, it gets better. So 60 tomorrow, 67 for Saturday, 65 Sunday, and then back up near 70 on Memorial Day. And we should be back in the 70s Tuesday, Wednesday, and the Thursday of next week. We just have to get there first. Our forecast then for tonight there was rain ending uh, most likely after sunset. Uh, there could be a couple snow flurries in there. Don't be surprised. A frost and freeze is likely north of Highway 8 this evening with low temperatures down near 32. For tomorrow, it's Friday. Partly cloudy skies, breezy tomorrow. So we're going to reach for 60, meaning much of the day spent in the 50s. But there will be some sunshine, but breezy. That northeast wind could gust near 25 through the afternoon. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows a nice day tomorrow, albeit a bit cool. Saturday getting better at 67, a good-looking weekend on the way. More clouds on Sunday, followed by scattered rain showers on Monday, and another chance for rain as temperatures warm next week, Wednesday into Thursday. Justin. Right, thanks, Jeff. A western Wisconsin man has a hole in his ceiling this week after a heavy ball of ice crashed through his roof yesterday. Yesterday morning, he says it nearly hit him. Justin Easterly stopped by the man's home near Eau Claire to check out the damage and hear his story. I was reading to the kids and I heard a thump. And I was sitting right here, like right here. And I thought, was there a car crash? Or? And it landed right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Inches, within inches of me. It looked like a bomb went off in here. I would probably, yeah, I would compare it to a 12 gauge or a little louder. The big hole in the roof is like, where in the world did that come from? <laughs> it was that quick. It was like, boom, it was done. One Elk Mound man had a bit of a rude wake up call this morning after this ball of ice crashed through his bedroom ceiling. 12 sex. Uh -huh. It weighing in at a whopping 12.6 pounds. Just and it hit you. It grazed me. As soon as that come through, everything else was, it was like a dust of yeah. 
insulation and I couldn't see. 12 pounds of ice causing thousands in damage. There's more than a thousand dollars worth of damage up there. Here is one of the support beams. <laughs> Come on. What's left of it? Yeah. The big question left on everyone's mind is, where did it come from? Because there was a big black cloud above it. And of course, we just had the storms this morning. Officials from the National Weather Service office Again, in Chanhassen, Minnesota, said this morning's storms weren't strong enough to cause any hail that big. It'd be neat to see what it analyzes at the contents of the ice ball and figure out possibly where it came from. All I know is God had to have been watching out for me because I could have been, I could have died. Yeah. I could have. It's Justin Easterly reporting. It's been a long year for a lot of people, but one famous Rhinelander landmark is now getting back on track. Maybe I should say back on tracks. We'll have the latest on the five spot at Pioneer Park in Rhinelander after the break. The Memorial Day 72-hour mattress sale is this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop top brand doorbuster beds like these up to 60% off. Get the best deal in the country on Tempur-Pedic plus six years interest-free. Don't miss one of the biggest mattress sales of the year at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Hi, Bob Pucci for the Take Kid Hunting Foundation. We're having the Eagle River Gun Show this weekend at the Ice Arena on Highway 70. Admission is $7, 14 under are free. Show hours are Friday from 3 p.m. to 8, Saturday 9 to 5, and Sunday 9 to 3. Justin Betty and meteorologist Jeff Weller bring you the local news and weather from the North Woods alongside the WJFW Evening News Team. Watch Justin and Jeff weekday evenings at 5, 6, and 10 on News Watch 12. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest flooring in the industry at the lowest prices of the year where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Max Flooring is extremely durable, low maintenance, waterproof, and easy to install. Come see why builders and designers choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs with the lowest prices guaranteed where it's in stock and on sale. Request your free estimate today at CarpetCityWI.com. Our prices will blow you. Step one. Build a workhorse that works harder. Give it a letter. Then do it all again. Rethink, redefine, rebuild. Gear it for adventure. Make it sleeker, lighter. Make it tough, the toughest ever. And then make it a hybrid. Because the only ones who can outwork the workhorse are the ones that built it. See your Ford dealer to build and pre-order your F-150 or Ranger today and get an additional 500 bonus certificate on top of all offers. At Save More Marketplace, our expansive produce section features a large organic selection of the freshest fruits and vegetables. Get ready to fire up your grill with the finest cuts of Black Angus beef, USDA Prime, Wagyu ribeye, over 15 varieties of brats made in-house, and so much more. Our Scratch Bakery has fresh breads and custom cakes and design specialties for any occasion. Our deli has a great selection of meats, cheeses, and quick and easy meals. And with Save More on the go, we bring the freshness to you. The Memorial Day 72-hour mattress sale is this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop top brand doorbuster beds like these up to 60% off. Get the best deal in the country on Tempur-Pedic plus six years interest-free. Don't miss one of the biggest mattress sales of the year at Furniture and Appliance Mart. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Wisconsin public schools would receive $150 million more in funding over two years than they currently do under a Republican budget approved by a legislative committee this week. Governor Evers has proposed a bigger boost, $1.6 billion. It's not clear yet if the GOP plan would do enough to prevent Wisconsin from losing any of the $2.6 billion in federal COVID relief funding that it's set to receive. Of that, $1.5 billion was approved under the American Rescue Plan that President Biden Biden signed in March. That law requires the state to spend $387 million on K-12 schools to keep the rest of the money. After about 10 months of preparation and work, the five-spot train in Rhinelander is now officially back on its tracks, permanently, we think. The historic locomotive was lifted off its tracks last October, so the Historical Society could replace them and the foundation. The plan was to finish the foundation by the end of last year, but weather, remember we got that early snow in October, caused them to push it back until spring, but now it's finally ready. Having to swallow a little pride on my end because I really wanted to get this done last fall, um, we decided to make the prudent but difficult decision to wait because we wanted it done correctly. 
Kerry Bladehorn. He says the move will help preserve the train for generations to come, saying it is a proud symbol of the Rhinelander community, and he is thankful for the community's support. Um, it's it's the biggest representation of Rhinelander's logging and milling history um, from pre-1940. So to be able to preserve it and work on it and save it for the future to learn from, um, it's really, really important. The next phase of the project is to add a covering over the train, help protect it from the elements. No date's been set for that. Bladorn says they're still in the fundraising stage. After a year off, the YMCA of the Northwoods Hodag Run for Your Life will run next month. It's scheduled for Saturday, June 26th at Hodag Park. Folks can participate in the 10K, 5K, or 5K stroller divisions. There's also a Kids Chase the Hodag event for kids age 12 and under. Registration for the 5K and 10K races cost $30 on or before June 13th, $35 after. You can also race for free if you can raise $70 or more for a charitable nonprofit. For more information, you can visit the YMCA of the Northwoods website. We'll be right back. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Mix 96.5. The Memorial Day 72-hour mattress sale is this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop top brand doorbuster beds like these up to 60% off. Get the best deal in the country on Tempur-Pedic, plus six years interest-free. Don't miss one of the biggest mattress sales of the year at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Wisconsin's Knowles-Nelson Stewardship Program has been protecting our land and water for 30 years. Let's keep it that way. Our parks, trails, and open spaces give us a place to recharge and safely connect with friends and family. From trails and parks to waterways and working forests, Knowles Nelson gets it done. But if the legislature doesn't act now, we could lose what makes Wisconsin special. Call your senator. Reauthorize the Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program for 10 years for Wisconsin. Keeping your family close together in your home these days are important. Let us remodel your kitchen and bath. Kitchen Bath Mart specializes in complete remodels for the past 35 years. From design to install, we'll take good care of you. Stop in or call us today at Kitchen Bath Mart for your number one choice in kitchen and bath remodeling. Highway 70 East in Arbavida. Since its inception five years ago, Incredible Bank Foundation and Incredible Bank employees and owners have donated nearly $1,250,000 to charities throughout the Manaqua and Eagle River area. But the truest measure of our support comes from our employees who have contributed 4,000 hours in five short years to community organizations that better the lives of residents living in Manaqua and Eagle River. Incredible Bank, helping you start something incredible and finishing it. You've been taking mental health meds, and your mind is finally in a better place. Except now, you have uncontrollable body movements, called tardive dyskinesia, TD. And it can seem like that's all people see. Some meds for mental health can cause abnormal dopamine signaling in the brain. While how it works is not fully understood, Ingreza is thought to reduce that signaling. Ingresa is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with TD movements in the face and body. People taking Ingresa can stay on their current dose of most mental health meds. Don't take Ingresa if you're allergic to any of its ingredients. Ingresa may cause serious side effects, including sleepiness. Don't drive, operate heavy machinery, or do other dangerous activities until you know how Ingresa affects you. Other serious side effects include potential heart rhythm problems and abnormal movements. Shift the focus more on you. Ask your doctor about Ingresa. It's simple. One pill, once daily. Number one prescribed for TD. Learn how you could pay as little as $0 at Ingresa.com. The Memorial Day 72-hour mattress sale is this weekend at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop top brand doorbuster beds like these up to 60% off. Get the best deal in the country on Tempur-Pedic, plus six years interest-free. Don't miss one of the biggest mattress sales of the year at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Remember Ohio has that Vax a million lottery trying to boost the state's vaccination rate. They've now announced the winners of that. 22-year-old Abigail Boginski won a million bucks. 14-year-old Joseph Costello won a full-ride scholarship to an Ohio college of his choice. Still not bad. Uh, early data suggests the lottery 
worked, it raised vaccination rates in Ohio uh, by about 40% of the weeks after the Vaxamillion contest And look was how announced. happy his parents were. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Full ride scholarship? That's not bad. That's a good idea. Okay, so for us, we need some sunshine, and it's just not out there right now. Lots of rain showers, and look at these temperatures. Here we are in late in May. Late <laughs> May. Temperatures in the 30s out there right now. Oof. Even a couple of snowflakes earlier near the Wausau what? area, and the radar is it's very active. Uh, but this is basically staying south of Highway 29. Uh, heavy rain potentially across parts of Portage County, Wapaka County. Uh, moderate rain falling right now. It'll be slow to get out of here tonight, but the sky should clear across far northern Wisconsin. So that's a problem because we could see some frost just like last night. But tomorrow night's the big worry night where we could have a hard freeze across pretty much the entire area. But we're going to salvage the weekend with some sunshine in 60s followed by 70s are back in the forecast. Temperatures are getting back up where they should slowly. be. Yeah, we'll we'll slowly. Like Thanks, Jeff. Slowly. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for joining us in News Watch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next.